It was Mr. Bloom with Paytel High School with that kind of geometry with the review tonight. Review 4B. I'm just going to set these up. I'm not going to solve these tonight. But I'm going to give you the strategy for each one. So geometric mean. This one, we do not have an altitude. But they want us to solve for altitude. So UA here, they want us to find the segment UA. So let's just put our A in there. Well, this is part one. This is part two. So we have our part one, we have our part two. So PAPE is going to be part one times altitude. Part one is to altitude, is altitude is to part two. So 8 is to A, as A is to 16. Do your cross product, solve for A. Next one, they want us to find JL. JL is one of my legs. I'm going to call that leg 1. This is part 1. This is my part 2. Well, we do not have an altitude, so PAPE is not going to work here. PAPE does not work here. All right, same. So we're going to use help. So help is hypotenuse, and we're solving for JL, which is leg 1 and part 1. So my hypotenuse is 3 plus 12. So 3 plus 12 over L1, I'm just going to call L, as L is to part 1, which is 3. You cross product, solve for L. Why? Well, this is my leg. This is my leg one. This is my part one. So we're going to do help here. My hypotenuse is 25. So that's my hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is going to be 25 is to L1, which is Y, as Y is to my part one, 12. Do your cross products? Solve for Y. This one's find X. Well, this one, I do not have an altitude here, so I have to use help. This was help also. So my hypotenuse is x plus 2. My l, my leg 1, is 4. And then I'm going to go 4 over here to my part 1, which is x. Here's your cross product. And this one, yeah, you're going to have to factor and solve. Pythagorean theorem. Well, they want us to find a hypotenuse. Well, hypotenuse is c. And c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. These are our legs. So let's plug these in. 4 squared plus 7 squared equals c squared. Add these up, solve for C. Next one, I have a rectangle that has a width of 8. It has a width of 8. But well, we know the diagonal. We know this diagonal is 17. We do not know the length. I do not know the length. So, this is the Pythagorean theorem. Because we have a rectangle here. So this is my C. So 17 squared is equal to 8 squared plus L squared. Solve for L. One morning as John was leaving for school he discovered his dog got out. He chased the dog south on 52nd Street for 30 feet. So he went south 30 feet and then he went west 50 feet where he caught the dog. Now, how far is he from the house? So, this is your right triangle. They want to find my hypotenuse. So, c squared equals my two legs, 30 squared, plus 50 squared. Solve for c. If you had a 15-foot ladder, how far away from a base of a wall must, would you have to put to reach a window 12 feet above? So, here is my 15-foot ladder. This is my 12-foot wall leading to that window. They want us to solve for A. How far away does the ladder have to be from the wall? This is my right triangle. So A squared plus 12 squared 
equals 15 squared. This is a Pythagorean triple you guys should know about. Next one. The bottom end of a ramp at a warehouse is 10 feet from the base of the main dock and is 11 feet long. How high is the dock? So this is my hypotenuse. So 11 squared is equal to 10 squared. And we'll say this is B plus B squared. Solve for B. That's not going to be a pretty answer. X, we've got two similar triangles. Hypotenuse, hypotenuse. This is our altitude. All right? So no, these are two congruent triangles. So this leg right here is going to be half of 42. So it's going to be 21. So now I know a solution for x. So x squared plus 21 squared equals our hypotenuse squared. Solve for x. This one, this has got my 18 here. We've got two congruent triangles because they've got the same sides here. So we've got congruent angles here. Okay, so then we have to cut this in half. This is an angle bisector, this altitude, and it cuts this segment in half. So this is 9, and this is 9. So now I know my legs. I do not know x. So I know x squared plus 9 squared. I know that equals 26 squared. Solve for x. This one we did in class. This is my a, this is my b, this is my c. So 27 squared plus 36 squared is going to be equal to c squared. Solve for c. This is my a. So I don't know a squared, but I know if I add it to 12 squared, it's going to equal to 13 squared. Solve for a. This one is going to be 39 squared plus b squared is the one we don't know is equal to 65 squared. Solve for B. This one is 8 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. Solve for C. Next one is going to be 42 squared plus B squared equals 150 squared. Solve for B. This one is A squared plus 24 squared equals 25 squared. This next one is going to be 24 squared plus b squared is the unknown equals 40 squared. Last one is going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. It says here, if using a Pythagorean triple, then the lengths, Pythagorean triple, then the lengths make a blank triangle and the angle measure has to be the measure of an angle on the triangle. So if using a Pythagorean triple, the lengths they make a right triangle. Because that's what I put that's Pythagorean theorem applies to right angles. And the angles has to be the measure of an angle on the triangle. And uh, I'm not sure what they're asking here. And the degrees has to be a measure of an angle on the triangle. Uh, we'll come back to that. Converse, this is our triangle inequality theorem. So this is small plus medium is greater than large. All right, so you got to do this first. This is my small, this is my large, this is my medium. So 10 plus 11, is that greater than 20? This one is a little complicated, but we can figure this out. 5 times the square root of 2 well, that's 7.07, .07, so that's my small. So 5 square root 2 plus 10, is that greater than 11? This next one, this is my small, 
this is my medium, is that greater than the square root of 13? If this is true, then it's a triangle. Next one, this is my large, this is my small, this is my medium, so 11 plus 11, is that greater than 15? This one, this is my large, this is my medium, this is my small. <clears throat> so is 12 plus 14, is that greater than 49? This last one, three is my small, this is my medium, and six is my large. So this one, this is true. 21 is greater than 20. So we have a triangle. So now we've got to plug this in. Is 10 squared plus 11 squared. Is that greater than or equal to or less than 20 squared? This one, well, this is true. This is true, so we have a triangle. So plug this in. 5 squared root 2 squared plus 10 squared. How does that compare to 11 squared? Same here. Square root 3 plus square root 9 equals 4.73. Now square root of 13 is 3.6. So 4.73, is that greater than 3.6? Absolutely. We have a triangle here. Next one. Well, this is 22. Is 22 greater than 15? Absolutely. We have a triangle. This one is 26. Is 26 greater than 49? Abs absolutely not. We do not have a triangle here. This is not a triangle. Last one. 3 plus... Well, plus the 3, 3 square root 2. That's equal to 7.24. So 7.24 greater than 6? Yes, it is. We have a triangle. So now each of these we've got to plug in. So you've got to go square root 3 squared plus square root 9 squared and square root 13. And you've got to square it and figure out if that's bigger, than, bigger or less than. Same thing here. 11 squared plus 11 squared. How well, does that compare to 15 squared? This one, same thing. 3 squared plus 3 square root squared. How well, does that compare to 6 squared? All right, now let's do this. This is 100 plus 121, so this is 221. This is 400. Well, this is greater than when you're when this is greater than, this is an obtuse triangle. This one, when we square this, we get 25 times 2. This is 50. So 50 plus 100, this is 121. Well, this is greater than. When this is greater than, we have an acute triangle. Let me set up the other problems. This one, they want to know what this side is. Well, this is a, this is six, this is six. These A's are equal. So this is a 45, 90, 45, 90. So if they want us to find what F I is and B I, we already know that B I right here, just looking at this, that this is six. So B I equals six. And I know this, if this is all A, this is a square root 2, so fi is going to be 6 square root 2. Find the length of segments ci. Ci, well, this is 45, 45, so this is a, this is a, and this is equal to a square root 2. Well, what's, where's my a? My a is the number in front of square root 2. You don't see that's 10, you could always put it in like this and solve for A. 
These cancel. Whoops, these cancel. And A equals 10. Find the length of segments MI and AI. MI is right here. This is my A. This is my A. I know AI. I know that that equals 7 square root 2. MI is equal to A times square root 2. Well, if A is 7, I'm just going to plug this in. So 7 square root 2 times square root 2, this becomes 7 times 2, which is just 14. So MI is equal to 14. The city's building a sidewalk that will go diagonally through a park. Each other park is 50 meters. What will be the length of the sidewalk? So 50 meters. 50 meters. So we got a square here. And they, this is our sidewalk right here. What's the length of our sidewalk? Okay. So this is my C. Approximately to the nearest hundredth. So 50 squared plus 50 squared equals my c squared. Solve for c. The length of a diagonal of the square is 12 feet. The length side of the square is, well, we know this. We know our equation is c squared equals 2a squared. So if plug this in, 12 squared equals 2a squared. Solve for a. Solve for a. This is my special right triangles. Last page. I'm just going to set this up. Well, this is my x. This is 18. We know that this is a, a altitude is a angle bisector. So we've got congruent angles here. That was 60. This is now 30 degrees. We know this is my 60 degree angle down here. And I know that this is 18 and that this is a segment bisector. So this piece is 9. So to find x, we got to go x squared plus 9 squared equals 18 squared. Solve for x. Find length f e and d e. Well, this is my this is my a. And I know this is a. No, this is 2a. I'm sorry. This is a square root 3. This is my long leg right here. It's opposite my 60 degrees. So if a is 3, double a, and we got f e is equal to 6. DE is equal to A square root 3. So if A is 3, this is 3 square root 3. Find GH. GH is given us right there. GH is equal to 6. HI has got to be, well, 6 is equal to A square root 3. So we got if this is equal to A square root 3, we solve for A. So divide by square root 3, divide by square root 3. So I get A equals 6 square root 3, but now i got a problem. i got square root 3 in the denominator, so i got to make this into a fraction, square root 3 over square root 3. So it's going to be 6 square root 3 over 3. These cancel, and I'm left with 2. So HI is equal to 2 square root 3. Next one, find the lengths of DE, this one. And AE, well, AE, this is 30 degrees. That's my A. And I know that 14 is two ways. So I take half of this, where I solve for A here, divide by 2. Half of this is going to be 7. So my A, EA, or AE, is 7. DE equals A square root 3. So DE is just going to be my A, which is 7. Looks like question mark 7, square root 3. Find the lengths of CT and AC. Well, CT <coughs> is my 2A. This is my A. So i got to double this. This is my A, square root 3. So when I double this, 2 times 6, square root 5, which is that's what my CT is, equal to. I double this. This is 12, square root 5. This is my A. Well, my AC. AC is equal to A square root 3. A is equal to 6 square root 5. So I plug that in for square root 3. 
and I'm going to have to multiply this inside the, the square root. 3 times 5 inside the square root is 15. This is going to be 6 square root 15, and that's not factorable. That's 5 times 3. There's not a perfect square in that. Next, to secure a flagpole, a 64-inch wire is extended from the top vertical pole to the ground. If the cord makes a 30-degree angle to the top of the pole, how tall the pole? So here's my my 30-degree angle. And this is 64 inches. And remember, we're doing itch inches. So this is 30. And this is my A. If, and this is my uh, A square root 3. And this is my 2A. All right? Well, we want to find the height of the pole here. So we want to know A. To do that, 2A is equal to 64. So we're solving for A. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Well, my A is 32 inches. That's it for the review. This is Mr. Bloom with Paytel High School. I set all these up to do your cross product, but I will answer them tomorrow. Have a good night.